Hi YouTube, this is an informative video on how to convert a one hose portable air conditioner into a more efficient two hose portable air conditioner. If you've clicked on this video, then you already have enough knowledge to know that how uh, air conditioner works. Um, this is just to make this inefficient design a very efficient design. What I did was is I installed a um, a central air conditioner vent. It's the same vent that's in the in your floor over the um, intake for the condenser. And to do so, I bent out the flanges so that it would create a 90 degree um, larger area. If you'll notice right here where this ridge runs, that's where I bent it out with the hammer. When you get the vent, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be able to bend it out so that uh, it creates a, a larger surface area for the flange. Here in the corners, if you'll notice right here, there is that there's a screw there. There's a screw there. There's one there and one there. Okay. Now, you have to completely cover up the, the, the rest of the exposed venting. And I do that with aluminum tape. Okay. Now, if this isn't your model, I'll briefly go over a different model. If you'll notice inside there. Uh, let me get some better light for you. Inside there. That's still not good light. See that? See the venting inside there? Like I said, this is only my second YouTube video. And the first one was about zombie cicadas. So I'm not well versed on making how-to videos. I'm not even well versed on how to make videos, period. Okay. Now. Over here, you'll see the end. You'll see the uh, the exhaust side of the system. Okay, it is a Velcro strap, and this is just that filter material. You can buy this at Lowe's. Okay, now the um. The thing that I got attached to is actually a dryer vent you install outside of your house. Um, this is the kind that's got the uh, um, butterfly valve in it, which I took the butterfly valve out because where I had it, it was actually would operate the wrong direction. It wouldn't work. So I took the butterfly valve out, and then it's got the four screws attaching it, and then you just got to cut a hole. Let's see where I cut the hole. The hole doesn't got to be pretty because it's going to be covered up with the cover. Okay, and then of course this is the factory piece that comes with it. Okay, well, I'm going to pause. Okay, here you see a different model in use. Okay, you might have this one. So a Royal Sovereign. It's actually in use right now. And on the back, its, it's condenser is located in a different spot. Now, it's not the room intake. The room intake is right here. And, and on the previous air condenser, it's in a, a different spot. It is the condenser intake. That was the evaporator intake, what I just showed you. This one is a little different. Same concept, just a different shape back here. And like I said, I'm not a professional YouTuber. It's not what I do for a living. I, I, I drive trucks. But right here, this one was a little easier to cover. And you'll see where I've, um, same concept. I, I took the flange and I bent it out flat. You can see where the screw is. 
this is a four inch duct and this is the the tubing that I got going to it and you'll see where I've got the um, zip tie on it that's the factory um, uh, exhaust this is my intake you see I've got to clean that filter inside there that filter captures pollen and dust on the outside and everything else but um, you'll notice where I've there's a few vents that were exposed that had to be covered up but this one was actually had a whole lot less exposed and it was able to to um, to cover it quite easily and then um, this is just that right there see 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 how it sounds different and everything? I've got to fix that. Anyways, that's all for now. Um, you have a nice day and thank you.